guys please please you men keep saying why don't girls come up to us and ask us for our numbers here's why my 13th reason here here it is so my single ass was walking on the miguel campus the other day and i saw this greek god looking of a man and said you know what i'm gonna shoot my shot why not so i walk up to him and i say hey this sounds a little weird but i thought you were cute could i get your number now it doesn't seem bad at first glance you're like okay that was that was good that was a good start it gets worse now this man said i'm sorry i have a girlfriend but was talking with his hands in a way that made me believe that he was gonna give me a handshake so i start going in for the handshake it was too late y'all his hand was limp like this and i still gave him a prop then ran away <laughs> Honestly, guys, this story is not even that bad, okay? She accidentally went to go shake his hand after going up to ask this guy for his number, and she feels all sorts of embarrassed by it, and she never wants to approach men again. You see, guys, men have it 50 times worse than this, because when men go up to women, we're often called creeps. We're often called, you know, uh, silly for wanting to do so, okay? It's offensive. There's literally plenty places where it's illegal to stare at women apparently for too long guys but yet you have a girl here saying i never want to approach men because i went for an awkward handshake that one time men don't want to approach you because they can literally get locked up for doing so let's continue Yo, what is going on, guys? It is Taylor the Fiend back again with another response video. And you know what, guys? Shout out to Replicant Fish, the YouTube channel. He does fantastic work. I came across this video of this woman right here talking about a recent dating experience that she had. And honestly, I thought it was absolutely hilarious. So this girl right here, as you guys saw in the intro clip, she went to go and talk to this guy. And as a result of her embarrassing little interaction, she doesn't want to talk to men anymore. She doesn't want to be the one to make the first move. So guys, we're going to be jumping in. Uh, we're going to be breaking down her video piece by piece. But I kind of wanted to show you guys some of the comments uh, that were below this video. So as you can see here, we've got a man who says, and this is why we want you to make the first move. So it's not always us getting embarrassed. Perry here says, this wasn't even that bad. Now try doing it 50 more times and getting similar results. And guys, I'll say this. If you're approaching 50 women, now, women and you're like not necessarily uh conventionally attractive girls are going to find you creepy okay girls are going to you know not appreciate you approaching them but guys let's jump into this woman's tiktok and break it down piece by piece guys don't forget to leave your thoughts and your comments and let's take a listen guys please please you men keep saying why don't girls come up to us and ask us for our numbers i'm gonna pause it right there by the way guys and just say that personally i don't care if women don't approach me in fact it makes my day better guys when people don't approach or talk to me not because i dislike people not because i dislike women or i dislike men personally i'm just someone who likes my own space guys and you have a lot of women not necessarily this girl but a lot of girls will say that they're offended or that a guy's creepy when a man approaches them okay but you know feel as though a man shouldn't necessarily be creeped out when women approach them i remember there was an arbor and preach video i watched one time guys where arbor was saying look if a girl approaches you something is kind of weird and i tend to agree with that guys i think that women as much as they say oh they want a guy who's good at conversation these girls are out here messaging hey expecting a response but that's a whole nother story let's continue with the video here's why my 13th reason here, here it is. So my single ass was walking on the Miguel campus the other day. And I saw this Greek god looking of a man and said, you know what? Okay, so let's pause it there. Now, I don't know how old this woman is, but apparently it seems as though she goes to university. 
So here we have a girl who's studying at university and he de she describes herself as being single. Like that's one of her foremost characteristics, it seems. So we have a single girl and what does she do, guys? This is why I don't feel empathy for these women who talk about being single. Okay, guys, I am not one of these people who empathizes with women when they say that they're single. I can empathize over other things, maybe other struggles that they have that actually make sense. But being single is not one of them. Because girls can be single, I mean, girls can have a relationship if they so choose, but they just don't want to lower their quote-unquote standards. Point and case, this woman is trying to approach, quote, a Greek god of a man, and she's, you know, she's uh, concerned about getting rejected. If women approached average men, most average men would have a, a very warm greeting, wouldn't necessarily have a girlfriend. Most dudes aren't even getting laid these days, okay? But who does she approach, guys? She approaches the guy that she's highly physically attracted to and she's surprised when he has a girlfriend and this always amazes me guys the girls will complain right not necessarily this woman because she hasn't complained about the girlfriend thing but girls will only opt for the men who require them to compete with other women and then they'll complain when they don't get the man or they have to compete for the man it's actually hilarious guys like women will put themselves at a disadvantage in dating because they're all trying to con you know compete for the same man it's actually hilarious let's keep going with the video i'm gonna shoot my shot why not so i walk up to him and i say hey this sounds a little weird but i thought you were cute could i get your number Bam, if you were a uh, ugly looking dude or a, a guy who's not attractive to the opposite gender, this is the part where you'd get called a creep or like the girl would just straight up ignore you or something to that effect or maybe she'd just walk off or whatever the case may be, okay? And, and guys, like, dudes will ask questions like, how, how do I, I am not a fan of just approaching women, guys. Like, I really am not. Dudes who approach women in the gym, girls who approach men in the gym, okay, all this kind of crap. I personally think as though it, it, it's super weird, guys. You, you know what I mean? Like, and, and I don't have any sympathy. Okay, if you want to approach someone in public, fine, I guess. But places like the gym and what, whatever else is just incredibly weird to me. But I don't feel empathy for the girls who get embarrassed or who find it difficult because guys find it difficult to approach you. In a lot of situations, guys can get called awful things. Um, they can, there can be serious repercussions if the woman finds you creepy. And the woman finding you creepy is a lot higher odds than the man finding you creepy for doing it. Even though personally, guys, I think it's quite creepy, uh, to be honest with you. But let's keep going. Now, it doesn't seem bad at first glance. You're like, okay, that was, that was good. That was a good start. It gets worse. Now, this man said, I'm sorry, I have a girlfriend, but was talking with his hands in a way that made me believe that he was going to give me a handshake. So I start going in for the handshake. It was too late, y'all. His hand was limp like this, and I still gave him a prop, then ran away. <laughs> okay, very interesting, right? And that's her thing. That's her 13th reason as to why she's not approaching men. Now, guys, what if I told you all that I actually, you know, I'm sitting here in my office up here in the hotel, okay? I've actually got a crystal ball behind this animated desk. And, you know, that crystal ball is showing me this woman's future in the form of a story that we have right here because this is what awaits these women, guys. Like, these girls who are you know 25 24 they're single it's only a few more years until they reach this woman's situation right here so this is a girl who's 31 years of age and i found this subreddit okay uh this post here and i knew it would be good because it opened up with the title uh dating rants events and open discussion so i clicked on this uh thread here knowing full well one of the first posts would be a girl who's approaching 30 or at 30 years of age complaining about how dating is difficult because this is the future of the women who uh, you know, whose standards are essentially too high. Approaching the Greek god-looking guy is not going to get you the relationship. So let's jump into this little story here of a 31-year-old woman who wants to complain about her dating life and apparently just right off the bat uses the word traumatic. So you already know it's going to be good. Lucy here, seven days ago, said... Am I actually working on myself or am I just waiting? I'm a 31 year old female and about a year ago, I had a traumatic dating and bedroom fun life experience that ended weirdly. And I believe it changed me for the better. I was on a very promiscuous path to say the least. 
I'm not saying that I regret it, but I think I was doing it for the wrong reasons. After the experience I went through, I stopped hooking up with guys and started focusing on myself, working out, learning to set boundaries, not doing things just because it would feel good in the moment, boost my ego, or whatever the case may be. So as the women guys approach 30 years of age, they can no longer afford to be like the woman from the TikTok, right? Like this girl right here, let me pull up the video again. She can afford, at least in her mind, to approach the guys who are the Greek god-looking men, the men who obviously are going to have a girlfriend. In her mind, she can approach these guys because she's still got time. But what's raiding over the horizon, guys, is the age 31, excuse me, where you have girls saying that now is the time that I want to stop hooking up with men. Look at this, guys. How funny is this? I was on a very promiscuous path, said the 31-year-old woman. But now that she's 31 years of age, now she's stopping the hookups, and now she wants to move into something more serious. Absolutely disgusting. Uh, let's continue here. She says, and I think it helped me because I'm not looking for external validation. I'm not wondering who I'll get with tonight. I'm enjoying the night as it is, dancing, drinking, and having fun. I don't want to be just another notch in the bedpost anymore, which technically I haven't been. And I'm going to add another bracket here, which says, well, technically you have been. But I feel like it's so transparent, the interactions between men and women. I try to buffer that by just saying that I'm looking for friends, which I really am. I'm new to the area. But I have to time it right so that it doesn't feel like I'm full of myself, i.e. too early it sounds like I assume everyone is interested in me and I'm conceited, too late and I'm leading them on for attention. With every experience, I say that I'm learning, healing... <laughs> Healing, what an interesting word to use. With every experience, I say that I'm learning, healing, and working on myself. But honestly, it just feels like I'm getting more and more jaded, more picky, less interested in relationships because it all just seems like a game. In other words, she's less uh, interested in the hookups. It seems like a game. Am I only setting this friends only boundary because I haven't met someone who actually interests me? Guys, listen to this, okay? 31 year old woman, who's had a very promiscuous past, but she can't find someone who actually interests her. I would argue that these girls are not single because they can't find someone who interests them, but they're single because the people who they're interested in do not want relationships with them. Like guys, it is amazing to me how like men will go out here and they will deal with rejection every single day, whether that's from women, whether that's from work or whatever grind that they're on. Okay. And dudes will tend to just deal with it. But then you get the girls like this who will say, I'm never approaching again. And to be fair, yes, there are dudes who handle these uh, situations negatively. I'm not saying that there aren't, but it's just very funny how one girl can have an, a slightly embarrassing experience where she shakes a guy's hand wrong. And then all of a sudden she's like, you know what? I'm never approaching a dude again. Mind you, the type of dude that she chose to approach would never give her a relationship anyway. Like the, the guy that she was literally trying to chase is not interested in her. And you know what? Kudos to that guy for not giving her the time of day and just saying he had a girlfriend and letting it move on. Because I know a lot of these girls who, will, when they have a boyfriend and they're approached by a guy who they find attractive or um, something to that effect, a lot of them will take the Instagram or they'll take the Snapchat and they'll leave the guy and they'll keep the guy on board as a backup in case their relationship uh, falls through. But let's continue with the rest of this story here. Uh, she says, I'm so sick of guys only wanting me around if they think there's a chance to get in my pants. I know men don't owe me anything, especially after I've set my friendship only boundary. So this woman's looking for a relationship and she's she's setting friendships only. Uh, when girls say that they're looking for friendships only, guys, like, I just don't believe it. I, I really don't. Um, not at all. Uh, by all means move along but damn it just feels like I can't make real relationships with guys because there's always some romantic or physical level of interest that I have to ignore or reject and then some guys take my friends only boundary as a challenge I don't know exactly what I'm asking but I need some advice <laughs> you can't make this stuff up guys the woman literally doesn't even know what she's asking and she needs advice and I'm telling you guys this is what happens to the girls when they reach this age Right, we might think it's kind of funny and goofy where you have women like this who are like, you know what, I'll never approach a guy again, okay, only shooting their shot with the guy at the top percentage, 
right? The guy who is clearly not interested in a relationship. But these situations right here are literally what await this exact same woman. And guys, I have absolutely no empathy when it ends up happening. But guys, if you thought we were done there, I have one more to show you. And then we will wrap up today's episode. Check this one out. I, I keep coming across these stories, man. Like, it just seems to me like there's some sort of pattern or something going on here. I can't quite put my finger on it. But this next story is titled all of my matches want to be intimate so obviously we have a woman who's uh struggling to find a relationship let's continue i'm trying to put myself out there and meet someone online i am aware that i am an attractive woman and quite humble too apparently however men never if ever approach me in person i have been told that i come across very intimidating i love this like dating advice that a lot of women will give to one another and they'll say things like Oh, queen, don't worry. The, man, the men aren't approaching you because you're intimidating. And what it really means is, no, the woman's not intimidating. Men don't not approach you because you look intimidating. Okay, that is one of the biggest myths. Men are not scared of you. Okay, the reason why men are not approaching you is one, you're either lying about how attractive you are and you're, you're quite unattractive. In that case, men would still approach you anyway. So you're just lying. But the real reason why men aren't approaching you is they actually are approaching you. It's just that they're not the men that you actually want. Whenever girls say things like, oh, dudes never approach me or I can't find a relationship, you just have to add on to the end of it you know the men that i want aren't doing these things so the men that i want aren't approaching me the men that i want aren't interested in a relationship the men that i want aren't interested in anything beyond intimacy because men would happily take up relationships and uh, everything else in between but it's just the the women's standards that are keeping them single let's continue anyways online i don't seem to have any issues with matches backgrounds my images are quite conservative i think i'm modestly dressed however every guy seems somewhat promising uh who seems somewhat promising <laughs> look at this she's literally telling on herself right here does not want a relationship and is looking for something casual they also bring up bedroom fun very quickly and keep recommending that we meet at their place for drinks as a first date i once even told a guy i was christian and he asked are you really christian though like on a scale of one to ten I know he was trying to understand my views on bedroom fun. I'm not sure where they are getting this impression that I am someone to sleep around. It's very frustrating and I'm at that point where I just want to give up on dating overall. I can't meet someone in person and everyone online just wants uh, bedroom fun. So notice how this woman didn't even mention, by the way, the idea that she could approach men. She didn't even mention the idea that she could talk to dudes who weren't quote unquote promising because what she's talking about here, when she says, you know, every guy who seems somewhat promising she's basically saying every man that i'm attracted to does not want a relationship with me right this girl has plenty of matches guys riddle me this okay men will literally get or essentially no matches every single day but if they get a match with a girl they can try and make things work and uh, you know they'll try and have a connection and build a relationship with the girl a lot of the times right but you can literally give women hundreds of matches and they still can't find any good men. So you tell me, guys, is it the men who are the problem or is it the women's standards who are the problem? Guys, we are going to be leaving today's episode there. As always, remember to leave your thoughts and your comments to today's episode, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to our other content creators, Hadan from Peace of Mind and Detective Warg. And as always, guys, make sure that you take care of yourselves and I'll be seeing you all in the next episode. Peace.